Hello everyone, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. Welcome to another Matrix Transformations tutorial. Today we're going to talk about how to find the transformation matrix for any transformation. So last lesson we talked about what a matrix transformation is made up of. So basically it means that if you have an original point with the coordinates x, y, and x dash y dash is the image is the image after the transformation then a linear transformation is defined as x dash equals ax plus by and y dash equals cx plus dy where a b c d can be any real number so you can also write this in matrix form which is x dash y dash equals matrix um, a b c d or the transformation matrix multiplied by an image containing the original points. Okay, so you must memorize these equations, but once you have memorized these equations, it becomes quite easy to find the numbers A, B, C, D for any transformation that we want. So let's talk about how we do that. Now, if you draw a point on the Cartesian plane. The first point that we're going to draw is going to be located at x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 0. And what we're going to do is we're going to look at where this point is going to be transformed to after you conduct the transformation. So we can do what Every sort of transformation we want, let's say we want to uh, reflect in the y-axis. Now what happens if we reflect this point in the y-axis? Well the point ends up over here at x is negative 1 and y is 0. So this is my image. Okay, so if I call our original point, point A, then this point here will be A dash. Okay, and let's write that information down. So, um, X and Y, actually let's write it this way, X y is equal to 1, 0 and x dash, y dash is equal to negative 1, 0. Okay, um, we're going to select another point. So, actually I'm going to write an if at the front. If x if x and y is equal to 1 and 0, then x dash y dash is equal to negative 1, 0. Now let's do another example. Let's do this point here. Okay, and I'm going to call this B, point B. Point B has the coordinate 0, 1. Okay, now if x, y is equal to 0 and 1. Now what happens if we reflect this point? We end up exact same point. We end up with the exact same point because this point is situated on the y-axis. So if we reflect it in the y-axis, it ends up with the same point. So B dash will be in the same point as B. So X dash, Y dash is equal to 0, 1, again. Okay, now we're going to talk about how to use this information 
to give us what a b and what a b c and d are so now the first piece of information is we found out what x dash and y dash is when x and y is equal to zero now referring back to our original equation, if I substitute the value of x and y, which is 1 and 0, into my original equations, okay, then what happens is we can say um, if x is equal to 1, y is equal to 0, then x dash is equal to a times 1 plus b times 0 which is a and y dash is equal to c times 1 plus d times 0 which is equal to c right because 0 times d means nothing and b times 0 is 0 so I shouldn't say nothing I should say 0 so x dash is equal to a and y dash is equal to c so therefore that means because we've found out the image of when x is 1 and y is equal to 0, I found out what the image is. x dash is equal to a and y dash is equal to c. So I can simply substitute the values that I have found for x dash and y dash into where a and c is in the matrix, in the transformation matrix. All right, so if I write out the transformation matrix again, A and C is just equal to X dash and Y dash, which is negative 1 and 0. All right, now let's try um, substituting in using the second piece of information that we found, which is when X is equal to 0, Y is equal to 1 x dash is equal to 0 and y dash is equal to 1. So if we substitute x is 0 and y is 1 into our original equations over here, then what happens is we will get if x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 1, then x dash is equal to a times 0 plus b times 1 and y dash is equal to c times 0 plus D times 1 which means X dash is equal to B and Y dash is equal to D and using that information I can simply substitute the numbers that I have for X dash and Y dash into where B and D is in my transformation matrix so then I can just put in 0 uh, for B, right, because X dash is 0, and Y dash is D, which is 1. So this is therefore the transformation matrix, transformation matrix for reflection in the Y axis, negative 1, 0, 0, 1. Right now, let's try if this works. So let's try if x and y, if x is equal to 3 and y equals negative 1, which means it's over here. Right. Then let's um, use the transformation matrix. So a, B, C, D, so that's negative 1, 0, 0, 1 times X and Y. So that's negative 1, 0, 0, 1 times 3 and negative 1. And let's see what the answer is. Negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. Negative 3 plus 0 times negative 1. Um, is just 0 so it's negative 3 and then 0 times 3 plus 1 times negative 1 is just negative 1 so let's plot this point which is x dash y dash 
onto our equation I will get x is negative 3 and y is negative 1 so it's reflected um, across the y-axis okay so this is the correct transformation matrix and you can use this method in order to develop any transformation matrix so I'll write out the steps for you guys so these are the steps that is required to find the transformation matrix for any transformation number one you need to decide on the transformation you want to do e.g. let's say we want to rotate 90 degrees about the origin okay now we write out the transformation equation which is ABCD times XY equals X dash Y dash in matrix form and then what you do is on the Cartesian plane you draw the point 1 0 and then you transform this point using the transformation matrix I mean using this transformation and see where the image ends up and then use the coordinates of the image as A and C in the transformation matrix and then you're going to repeat step 3 and use the point 0 1 as the original point and transform it using the transformation see what X dash and Y dash is and put it as B and D in your transformation matrix so let's see if this works for rotating 90 degrees about the origin so that's step one we've decided on our transformation now we write out the transformation equation which we've already done here and then on the Cartesian plane I'm gonna draw uh, 0 and 1 on the Cartesian plane so that's over here uh, sorry 1 and 0 and the image of that is going to be over here so if this is point A this will be A dash which is um, A dash is 0 1 okay so what's happened is in my transformation matrix A B C D I can fill in A and C right because I have pr already proven to you guys above that if X is 1 Y is 0 X dash is A and Y dash is C so I can fill that in over here A and C is just going to be 0 and 1 All right now we repeat step 3 with X dash Y sorry with x and y is equal to 0 and 1 which is over here so let's say this is point B point B has 0 and 1 where does it go to if I rotate 90 degrees it ends up over here which is um, negative 1 0 so it's rotated 90 degrees from the origin 90 degrees to the left Actually, I should say that anti-clockwise. Okay, so therefore I can fill in B and D with the coordinates of x dash and y dash. So it's negative 1, 0. So this is my transformation matrix. Now let's test to see if it works. So step 5 will be test the transformation matrix so let's say I want a point um, let my original point be um, you can just put it anywhere really let's do uh, 1 and 2 
Okay, so using A, B, C, D, which is 0, negative 1, 1, 0, multiplied by 1, 2, and where does it end up? 0 times 1 is 0, negative 1 times 2 is negative 2, 1 times 1 is 1, 0 times 2 is 0, so that's 1. Okay, now let's test it out by drawing on our Cartesian plane. So the first point is 1, 2. So 1, 2, this is my first point here. So let's say this is point C. And where is my image? The image is located at negative 2, 1. So negative 2, that's negative 1. And then negative 2 should be somewhere here. Negative 2, 1. So that's over here. And let's say this point here is C dash. Okay, and now let's see if it has rotated 90 degrees. So this is definitely about 90 degrees. Okay, so we've tested it and it works. Okay, thanks for watching guys. See you next time.